Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. So nice to see you all here. So many wonderful, good-looking, handsome married men in the audience. And uh, I'm, uh, my, my name is Sean Archer. Good evening. I'm going to show you a little, a little trick. I've been doing this for a long time now. I've been performing uh, professionally uh, for over 20 years. When I first started, I thought, I want to get famous. I want to be famous, big and famous. And, uh, and then I realized that was going to happen. It's not going to happen. And, and as I realized it wasn't going to happen, I also realized that it didn't matter. Because I don't really do it for fame. I've noticed that now. I do it for this. Indifference. <laughs> and, uh, and you do it very, very well. And, uh, but I've been doing it for 20 years. When I first started doing it for 20, 20 years, it was, uh, it was great fun. I enjoyed it. I'd sort of, you know, it, was, it was new to me. I'd get in a car and I'd drive to a new place. I'd see new sites. I'd, I'd visit new towns. I'd perform to audiences. I'd do tricks I'd never done before. And it was fantastic. And, and then after about 10 years, I, saw I was doing the same tricks and I'd seen everywhere before. And now I've been doing it for 20 years. And, and uh, I've got everybody else. It's, it's getting a little bit hard. Thank you. That's very L and L. And um, <laughs> no, no, it is. You can cut that out. But no, it's um, it's got it's got very very difficult for me. It's it's not it's not so much the travelling. It's it's not the gigs. I still enjoy all of that. Uh, to be honest, it's uh, it's the loneliness. Uh, you've done it once. Don't do it again. And <laughs> no, it's the loneliness. It's just travelling. On my own. I mean, it sounds like a great job, but the truth is that, you know, we're only on stage for a little bit, and the rest of the time, we're in a car, and I, I'm driving sometimes for four, five hours to get to a gig, four or five hours home, and I thought, I've got to, I've got to do something about this. I've got to talk about it. So, so, I, so I went, a couple of days ago, I went into my wife's bedroom, which is coincidentally right next to mine, and um, <laughs> it's handy. And I went in, and I said, look, we need to talk. She said, it's not Thursday. I said, I know, but... <laughs> but we need to... We need to have a little chat. We need to discuss something. I've got a problem. She said, what's your problem? I said, I've got a problem with work. She said, what? I said, I'm starting to get a little bit lonely. She said, what do you mean lonely? She said, well, it's just, I'm in, I'm in my car all on my own. She said, well, why don't you get yourself a little travelling companion? I thought, that's a good idea. I've got a girl in mind. She said, no. <laughs> that's not what I mean. She said, get, get somebody to keep you company when you're travelling, like, like a, a little pet. I said, what do you mean? She said, get yourself a goldfish. Get yourself a little goldfish, put it in a bowl on the dashboard, and you can chat to it. I said, well, that's a good idea, but every time I go around a corner, there'll be water everywhere. She said, you're right, that's not one of my best ideas. Now, I didn't like to tell her that it actually was one of her best ideas. <laughs> so, I said, that won't work. She said, you're right, get yourself a little dog, a little chihuahua, a little puppy, keep it in the glove compartment. And I said, that won't work, it'll die. You know, I'll have to leave it the heat, I have to leave windows open, it's insecure. So why don't you get a pretend pet, a little surrogate pet, something that you can pretend is real and it'll be a companion, like those little Tamagotchis that kids used to keep in the pocket and feed and things. I thought that's a good idea. So yesterday, I went to Toys R Us and I bought this little fella. I know, I say fella, I mean, to be honest, with stuffed toys, it's always difficult to tell, you know what I mean? <laughs> they might just be saving on fur, I don't know, but... Um, <laughs> And, and, and uh, he's a happy little soul, as you can see. He's probably a mentalist. And, um, <laughs> and uh, I, thought, I, I thought, wouldn't it be nice, wouldn't it be nice if he became part of a bigger family? So that when I'm travelling with him, I don't just think of him. I think of you and you and, and you and you. <laughs> so, so what I've done is I, I, I've got this little idea in my head that what we could do is come up with a name for him. And then, as I'm travelling, I'll, I'll, I'll think of the name and I'll think of you because we'll have all come up with this name together. And, and, when I, and when you think of me, you won't just think of me, you'll think of him and the name that we came up with. And in some strange, bizarre, little, out-of-sense world, we'll be family. Can we do that? Can you look like you're interested in doing that? So what, what I've done, I thought we'd do it properly. I've, I've written out, I've got some birth certificates here, right? I, I, I made them up myself. It's just all pretend this. It's just nonsense. You don't have to have reasons for doing every magic trick. And, uh, <laughs> and it's from the Virtual Pet Society, you see? And I thought what we'll do is we'll, we'll come up with a little name for the dog here and then, and then we'll get somebody up to name the dog and we'll, we'll have like a proper little ceremony. So it feels right. Now remember it. But do you mind just sort of patronising me with that for a little bit? Is that all right? So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll... Um, in true mentalism style, we'll, um, we'll, I'll throw one of these birth certificates over my shoulder, right? And whoever catches it, you're going to give me a letter, all right? And then, 
And then you throw it into somebody else, and, and they give me another letter, and, and slowly uh, a name evolves, or it's created, depending on your theology. I don't mind which, let's not argue, but it's important that you sort of obey the rules of the English language to a certain extent. So obviously if somebody gives me a P, I don't want the next person giving me a P, otherwise he ends up with a stutter. It's not a great start in life. <laughs> so, so, you know, so that, and also, you know, now and again we might need a few vowels to make it work, but you, you can choose any word I like. So we'll start somebody over here, somebody catch. Somebody, excellent, what's your name, sir? Matt. Matt, excellent. Matt, you're going to give me the first letter of this little fella's name. First letter. Now, um, what, what do you want the first letter to be? It can be anything at all. D. 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 Excellent. That's good, because that's Trump out of the way. We're not going to end up with that dog. <laughs> okay. D, excellent. D, would you throw it to somebody else behind you or over there? It's entirely up to you. T and me, slightly aggressive. <laughs> Wonderful. Caught in the cleavage, madam. Well done. That's what... <laughs> That's a skill that's not used enough, to be honest. I, I do it myself at parties. But um, what, what's your name? Laura. Lorna, wonderful. Lorna, can you give me the second letter? We've got a D. We need a second letter for the little fella's name. What's the second letter going to be? A. A. Okay, that's good. It's a little bit ordinary at the moment. D A. Okay, D A. Wonderful. Would you throw it to somebody else? Anybody all that way or this way? Oh, we're sort of going across the room. Wonderful. In the gap, nobody wants it. <laughs> wonderful. What's your name? Mark, excellent. Mark, what's the third letter of this fella's name? Going to end up being Danny, isn't it? All right. <laughs> All right. We, we've got to try and be creative. I don't, I don't want an ordinary name. I want, I want a, an interesting name, like, you know, Fifi Trixie Bell or something like that. No. But, but don't worry, it wasn't your fault, Mark. Uh, throw it to somebody else. That way or that way? Excellent. <coughs> Wonderful. What's your name? Harry. Harry. <laughs> oh, parents should have used this method for you, to be honest. You'd have had a... <laughs> Slightly more exciting name, wouldn't you, Harry? So, um, Harry, we've got D-A-N. What do you want the fourth letter to be? Be creative. What do you want the fourth letter of the name to be? Donna. <laughs> D-A-N. Yeah, right. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> Very helpful. <laughs> you want it to throw somebody else that looks slightly more sensible than you, if you can find somebody? Excellent. Wonderful. That would have been a great catch there, wouldn't it, if you just held on to it. Um, <laughs> oh, you're doing that little thing now, you don't know who it is. What's your name? Balash. Balash. Oh, your parents did use this system. That's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Balash. You sounded like an accident in a little Middle Eastern airport. Um, <laughs> well, um... Balash, what do you want, the, what do you want the, the fifth letter to be of this name? We've got D-A-N-A. -A. What do you want the, the, the next? It could be the last letter, in fact. What do you want it to be? L. Danal. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Danal. Um, that's wonderful. Okay, and so, so that's good. We've decided on the name of uh, Danal. I think you'll agree that that's quite unique and random. Now, now what we need to do is we need somebody to, uh, to come up and name. Uh, name oh, sorry, we need the date. What's the, what's the date today? It's the what? 7th of January. 7th of January. Um, wonderful. Okay. Now I need somebody to come up and uh, name little Danal for me. And um, this lady here, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, wonderful. Sarah, have you ever named a stuffed puppy before? Never. That's the right answer, to be honest. If you'd said yes, I'd be a little bit worried. Sarah, come up and join me. Give Sarah a big round of applause. Excellent. Sarah, just hang on to that. Sarah, here's what's going to happen. You're, you're going to name the dog, all right? We're going to have a little name. So you're going to read out the certificate for me, okay? And um, they'll all sit up straight like it's a church service, okay? And then, and then when, you, when, you've, um, when, you've, when you've named uh, Donal, um, we'll have a few photographs, all right? <laughs> Not everybody, just me and you. And, um, <laughs> and then we're going to go outside, and, and I've got a little buffet organised, all right? So just a memorable little kid. Do you mind me asking, are you left or right-handed? I'm left-handed. You're left-handed, excellent. Would you, would you do me a favour? Would you just hang on to little Danal under your right arm? That's wonderful. And, uh, and if you could all sit up straight, please. It's like a religious... I would normally have an organist, but, but he's, uh, he's at the IBM convention at the moment. So, um, <laughs> if... Uh, just... Okay, Sarah, just uh, ni nice, nice and loud. Okay. I state Danal. No, no, no. no it's, name. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's your name. I state... I, I state name. I state... Uh, are you married? Yes. Are you? Wow. Um, just... Um, <laughs> I, uh, is he here? He's not in this room. No, of course not. <laughs> Don't blame him. Um, so, it's right. You look lovely, though. You do. So when, um, 
I, I stay, now, I don't want to explain it all, but it, it's, it's, it's just, it, it's, my, it's my fault. Um, okay, so, uh, we'll, we'll try it again. No, no, we've got to get on, Sarah, honestly, because they've got, we've got proper magicians doing tricks in a minute. So, um, just uh, in your own time. <coughs> I state. No, no, Sarah. I, Sarah. I, I, Sarah. State name. <laughs> st st state name. Lovely hair. Just, um, j just, just. Maybe I'm too close. I'm putting you off. I'll um, just, just, just. You're a bit flustered. I can understand it. Just, just. Away you go, Sarah. I. Sarah. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's some big words coming up. This could be difficult. Um. State of sound mind and body. Hereby. Yes. <laughs> Declare that on this date, the 7th of January... Yes, that's it, today. Yes, I wrote 2017, that. 2017. Yes. This cube stuffed puppy is officially and legally named... Danelle. Thank you. Uh, listen, um, Sarah, I'm going to let you keep that. You can be like the custodian of the birth certificate. If I never need a passport for him or anything, I'll come and get you. Now, I'm glad this has happened, Sarah, because w when I bought him yesterday, I thought, uh, you know, th they asked me to film this, but I know they'll have other more important magicians. They might not, they might not get a chance to do this with me, you know. And uh, I thought what I should do is, 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 is just have a backup plan. And I wanted to treat him like a real dog. So I went next door to Toys R Us. There's a little shop called Pets R Us. And I bought him a little, I want to treat him like a real dog. So I got him a little bowl for his food, a little bowl for his water, a lead and a collar, because I want to take him for walks, obviously. It'd be a drag, but I'll do it. So um, it'd be a drag. It'd be a drag. And, 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 and I, bought, I, bought, I bought all that stuff. And when, they bought, when you bought a lead and collar, you'll never believe this, Sarah. When you bought a lead and collar, try and look excited. When you bought a lead and collar, you got a free name tag with free engraving. And I thought, what happens if we don't get a chance to do this tonight and he won't have a name? So I just got a random name inscribed upon that collar. <laughs> Most people are ahead of me now, but you're not, are you? Um, Sarah, would you read in a nice loud voice, what's the name that's inscribed on there? Danelle. Danelle! <laughs> Thank you very much. Give Sarah a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Sarah. You, saw, you can have that. Thank you. Thank you.